It is, sure how- as I said, trumped up, trumped up, trumped up. Hey, hot with it. Woo. Come on. When the campaign rolled through your town, Trump for president, I like that sound. America, he gon' turn it around. Build a wall that you can't tear down. Get trumped up. Say get trumped up. Get trumped up. Get trumped up. Created by Wake Mike the G. Permission to be used by White Mike as well this morning. Thanks, Mike. Good evening from Decision Making 2020. It's kind of a wild one out there. Uh, thanks. A little shout out to my subscribers. Both of you. I pray for both of you daily. We got about 10, 15 subscribers now, but two of them are on every video. So I do lift you guys up. I thank God for you daily because I know I've got four kids. Only one out of the four isn't a flaming liberal. There's only one Republican and he don't watch my podcast. So the two people that do watch them all, they're not even my kids. If you'd been watching, though, here about, I don't know, five, six weeks ago, we told you guys that there was something awful dirty, rotten, smelly, stanky about that FISA court. And why did it take the judge three weeks after the IG's report was out to say anything about it? If I was a judge and I'd been lied to, I'd have had their butts in there so quick, their heads, their eyes would be in the back of their heads. Now then, that wasn't the case. She didn't say nothing. She's kind of like Satan's sister, Nancy Pelosi, who waits a month to bring her stuff forward for her impeachment garbage. It wasn't that good to begin with. It's got to be getting pretty stinky, smelly right now, those orders of impeachment sitting in her purse. So now they bring out this never-Trumper, a guy who was in on the flim flam from Obama with the illegal wiretaps, <coughs> who is falsely accused from members of Congress, Nunes, 
of obstruction of justice, saying he should be charged, when in fact the IG report confirmed everything that he had said. They got this knucklehead, David Chris, that's a never-Trumper, supposed to be reforming the FISA actions. Now, first thing that comes to my mind is, I never put the wolf inside the hen house to watch the hens, okay? That's just not a good thing to do with the wolf. You want the wolf outside. Now, if they're going to put this guy in there, that means not only is the swamp deep, but it's got some pretty nasty, big, fat stumps that need to be pulled, too. Because David Chris should be nowhere near this. The IG report said he was guilty. Anybody that had anything to do with those <coughs> papers were not exonerated. So they got a guilty guy that's going in to reshape the way they do things. And he broke the laws to begin with. Folks, you can't make this garbage up. So, March comes around next month here in about two or three weeks. I have to decide whether or not they're even going to refinance this FISA court. Because if the Democrats are going to be abusing it the way Obama did to illegally spy on citizens, especially political opponents, it's worthless. They're destroying it. Just like they're destroying America, just like they destroyed Detroit, Chicago, Boston, San Francisco, Los Angeles. Shall we keep going? You guys get the picture, right? Okay. Now then, I find it funny that this is such a serious thing, and there is no speed in it because it took her two and a half years by her own omission that CNN had old John Dean on December 5th. So we've got something that's only happened a couple times in our nation's history with impeachment, and the leader of the House is watching a dirty guy that got barred, convicted, a liar. On December 5th, he was on CNN saying Pelosi was in a position of power. She doesn't have to send those articles of impeachment over. So she got her stupid idea of being stupid from John Dean. And I'm having a real hard time with this. I heard such a good sermon Sunday. Andy Stanley knocked it out of the park. He's got a three-part series. He's in just started, just kicked off. The right amount of politics for religion. <coughs> I like it. The Johnson Amendment's been struck down by President Trump. So now you can talk about Jesus Christ and your political beliefs from the pulpit at the same time. And you won't lose your tax exemption. So Andy is saying that we can disagree politically as long as we love unconditionally. Man, loving Satan's sister is awful tough. I don't know if I'll ever get through that nut. That's a pretty hard shell to crack. But I like this, I like this prayer. And I'm going to wrap us up with this on my way out. Because it's a good one. We can disagree politically, but we need to love unconditionally. I don't love the fact they're putting a never Trumper into a place, a guy that was guilty of spying on him, and, and you know, uh, you're having the crooked straighten out the crooked? Come on, folks, we're not stupid. Don't treat us like we are. We're not as dumb as the dumbs. All right, so... Pelosi still hasn't come forward with her stuff. She's like a little kindergartner. Well, he's always going to be impeached no matter what kind of charade they put on over in the Senate. You mean like the charade that you brought about this charade impeachment? This fake coup? You guys are all acting treasonous. You sold California out to the Mexicans. I wonder how much the cartels paid you for California, Nancy. You got a sanctuary state, sanctuary cities throughout it. Highest drug crime, 
highest unemployment, highest homeless, highest poop on the sidewalk, any place on earth, in your backyard. Nancy, we don't want you doing to America what you've done to your constituents and to your own territory. You've turned it into the poop capital of the world. If I wasn't a Christian, I'd just call it a shithole. But I am, so I can't. So, Nancy, you're not going to do that to America. We're not going to let you. Come November, we're going to make a decision on what we think of this whole charade. And we're going to come out in force, okay? And there's going to be voters like you've never seen coming from districts and area you'd never thought. So hold on to your hats. Democrats are taking off the gloves tomorrow. We got socialists going after socialists, and the fur is going to fly. And I can't wait because these guys are just like spiders devouring their young. I'm going to wrap this thing up. Everybody have a blessed night. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe for Decision Making 2020. Heavenly Father, let us come together as one so that we may influence many. In Jesus' precious name, amen. I love that prayer. Heavenly Father, let us come together as one so that we may influence many. We got to get Roe versus Wade overturned. Every day they kill a thousand babies, a thousand black babies a day. Now, I'm just talking about the black babies, not the black and white babies, not the white babies, not the yellow babies, not the brown babies, not the red babies. We don't want to talk about the yellow babies. They kill more of them worldwide than anywhere. They've got 38% of the abortion, which, by the way, FYI, abortion, again... Two years now, the last two years in a row, is the number one killer on earth. That's got to stop, at least here in America. Folks, civilized societies don't kill their young. Okay? We're not spiders. Heavenly Father, let us come together as one so that we may influence many. But we need to come together as one because there's many that do need our influence in a positive way with Jesus' light. Amen. You guys have a blessed evening. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to pray for our president. God bless you and America and our president too. Good night. Like, share, and subscribe.